Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Lara and today we will be looking at our poster method problem together. Okay, before you start, we have attached this video for you to watch on how to find the volume using unit cubes. Um, it's important for you to watch it because it will be helping you with the problem that we gave you today. It's a problem relating to unit cubes and finding the volume, okay? So I suggest that you watch it. Before we start, let's look at some vocabulary that will help us explain our work. Unit cubes. A cube which has a volume or capacity of one unit. Volume. The amount of space something occupies is called its volume. Length is a measure of how long an object is or the distance between two points. Width tells how wide someone or something is. Height tells how tall someone or something is. Okay, so make sure you're using these vocabulary words when you are explaining your work when you're um, thinking about the word problem and trying to understand what something means or what it's asking you to find, knowing these vocabulary words will help you understand the word problem. Let's continue. So today's word problem rel um, relates to volume. We've been doing a lot of work with volume. So let's read the problem. Eli has an old swimming pool in the back of his yard that is filled of cracks. Since, no, since it no longer holds water, Eli decides to fill the old swimming pool with dirt. The old swimming pool is 30 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 9 feet deep. If the dirt is delivered in loads of 3 cubic yards each, how many loads of dirt will it take to fill the old swimming pool? Show all your mathematical thinking. So, right away, I'm looking at this problem. I'm asking myself, okay, what part of this word problem is not necessary? What don't I need? What I do need to pay attention to? What is the question asking me? Is there something that I need to find before actually solving the problem? There's a lot of trick questions like that where you just see one part of the um, problem and you just think, I need to find this. When in reality, these problems are multi-step. You have to do more than one thing to get to your answer, okay? So pay attention, ask yourself, what is it that I need to do to get to the answer? Okay. Next. So like this is a poster method. Um, you've probably used solve sometime in your uh, past here at 249. For this problem, we just put solve here, but the questions that we want you to answer are in each box okay so what is the problem asking you to find let me write that in there asking you to find okay what important details do you need to solve this problem Ooh. sorry L write out your plan to solve, include an estimate. So what is your plan in order to solve this problem? What do you need to do first, second, and third? And I would suggest you write it out in steps. Step one, step two, step three, step four, okay? Solve your problem. I know it might be hard for you to write an equation, but just basically say what you did. So what I did was, and this is my answer, okay? And then E, check your work. How can you check it? Explain. I can check my work by doing 
blank, okay? Just explain it with words. You, we, we do want to see your answer here, your final answer. You could write that in, in words, but explain how you got your answer, okay? So for the last step, uh, for the last slide here that I'm sharing with you guys is just kind of reviewing what is it that you need to do in order to solve this poster method problem. It's a multi-step problem. You need to ask yourself what you are you finding? How are you organizing your facts? What's important to solve the problem? Write out your plan to solve. Solve your problem and then check your work, okay? Your teachers are gonna be grading your work depending on what you include, all right? It's, remember, it's not always about the right answer. It's about explaining your work, okay? That's what we're looking for. Are you able to explain your work for this problem? All right, boys and girls. Tomorrow, I will be sharing with you my work, and we could check our work together, okay? And see if you got the same answer as me, if you got something else, Okay, so good luck. You guys got this. See you soon.